Hello everyone, welcome, welcome to a short um, Bible study. I just want to thank God for um, bringing me into this wonderful place. I'm in, the, I'm in the process right now of doing some wonderful things and I cannot wait to just share those things. However, things take time to develop and I really want to thank God for all the persons who have I've been so supportive and God has just been showing me so many wonderful things and I know 2019 is going to be exciting so if you're part of this Bible study and you want to be part of faithful women movement team please send me a message through the group or personally or just comment below the video and say you know yes I want to be a part of faithful women movement team because really we're trying to build a faithful nation of people um, you know economically um, spiritually for whatever reason God is really calling people with a positive mindset to help build his kingdom and we can't do that in darkness right you have to be walking in the glorious light of liberty because that's what Psalms 118 reminds us that God you can admit that God is the king the king of glory is the leader of us all and we are only his audience responding to him amen so Word of God says, I thought it not robbery to be equal to God. Amen. Because faith is like a mustard seed. And before you even come in this group, you see faith without works is dead. You know, we believe in faith. You have to have faith and you have to understand what is faith so you can move in faith. Right. Some people call it a determination. But for me, faith is really about the mindset that you have. What is your your posture? What is the posture of your heart right now? Is your post is the posture of your heart towards sinning, which means you are not being faithful, or is the posture of your heart towards faithfulness and experience the glorious, powerful truths and the conduct of, of blessings of God? Do you want that? You know, what is it that you're struggling with right now? Now, what is that has caused you to topple over into a sinful realm whilst you could have been, um, what should I say? You could have been moving, and, and I like to use the word modeling or developing and harmonizing into the path of righteousness, following the way of good according to Proverbs, right? Following the way of path, not going down the strange path, but following the way of, of God. Is it that you are a destroyer or are you a builder? Do you like to build or do you believe you are that kind of person that would, in a sense, try to take, um, uh, you know, in a sense, like pull down things that were already established? Are you that sort of person or do you believe in adding value? Because I believe that's the kind of mindset that I teach, that you have to be able to create the right thoughts, the right attitudes, the right behavior to have the right sort of mindset. So if you don't have that mindset to build, if it is that you have a mindset that is scattered and you, you choose to believe every little thing. And like I said, you know, we're in a season, a season for the joy of the Lord. It's Christmas, right? And you want to create that sort of joy. You want to be cheerful and you want to be happy, right? So when you are bombarding yourself with unholy things, you, you're looking at unholy images and you're, you're thinking things that are not true, which means you have essentially made yourself to become a liar because you're not in the way of truth. So when you see other people walking in truth, you are more prone to lie to yourself rather than be part of truth rather than gathering up the bits and the pieces and the, 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 the trouble that you're in and said, you know what, no matter what state I find myself in, I will take up my cross and I will follow Christ. Amen. I'm not going to sit behind and watch and watch, um, you know, watch everyone else moving ahead in God, joyful, happy while I'm sitting around in 
the residue of what God did not have in store for me. So this is a season to believe that no matter what you struggle with, your fears, your your identity, um, your confidence, your temptations, whether your business is prospering or whatever it is you're doing, whether it is that you're broke or if you don't have money or you can't see through things, you must change your mindset about every single thing. You cannot go up, go into 2019 with that same mindset. You really are not going to be able to stay around um, powerful people if you have that wrong mindset. Because if you do, you have to leave. Amen. If you cannot have the, 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 the strong mindset, because the word of God says it is written. All right. Man shall not live by bread, bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. He said, it is written for eyes of seen, ears of heard of the things that God has in store for, 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 for those that love him and do his commandments. It is written, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most High shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. Amen. And it is written also that not one here on my head or the head of my family can be touched without the knowledge of God or on your head. It cannot be touched without the knowledge of God. So what is it? What mindset do you create that will give the devil foothold in your life to, to push you off your feet in such a time like this? So you have to understand that God is calling you to be a light. He's not calling you to live in darkness. He's not cause, calling you to cause trouble. He's not, causing, he's not calling you to become chaos. He's calling you to become clarity, to become the light in his glory, to become stronger mentally, physically, emotionally. To understand that, to understand all, understand all spiritual truths, to understand revelation of his word, to understand that in his word is all truth. There are times that you're struggling with things and you're struggling with understanding this and you're battling oftentimes, um, sometimes you're battling these, um, what should I say? I call them like repetitive episodes where you feel depressed because you cannot see the light in your situation you can't find the beauty in your situation you cannot see the joy in your journey you cannot find the good you don't know how to tap the good you don't know how to relate to yourself you don't know how to give back to yourself you keep looking out east west north south for something but at the end of the day it was in you amen because only God said in Psalms 46, God is within me, I cannot fail. God is, is, is energy, is, is power. You know, when you give strength unto the God within you, when I use myself as an example, when I give strength unto the God in me, I flourish and I prosper. And I, re, and I, and I rejuvenate in good health. You know, I'm able to accomplish all that God has, has called me to be. You know, I see my money situation changes you know I do business so I know that the the issue is not with what I can't do the issue is what I can do I can accomplish great and mighty things I don't have to worry about this that that because God has already done the work for me and I'm just walking into his divine inheritance that he has for me and I claim my inheritance because the word of God says according to Zechariah 4 verse 6 not by might nor by power but by my spirit says the Lord so therefore if the spirit of my God the Lord of hosts says that I shall accomplish great and mighty things then I shall accomplish great and mighty things. And there's no weapon, no weapon. I said it again, no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against me shall be condemned in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the word of God says in his word that you must resist the devil and he must flee. You submit, you humble yourself to the Lord, humble yourself to God first. But I resist the devil and he must flee. Devil, the joy of the Lord is my strength. How about that? 
So you have to know that you know that you know that the, the joy of the Lord is your strength. You can resist the devil and he must flee. And you can walk in, 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 in strength. You can walk in harmony and peace with God. He can make your enemies your footstool. Amen. He can make you, make you the head and not the tail. You're not going to, you're not going to suffer. You're going to flourish. You're going to prosper. I already know that I'm going to flourish and prosper. So therefore, when the wicked does things that is not in line with God, I know that God is showing me that if you put your trust on my word, Hallelujah, says the Spirit of the Lord. When you put your trust on my word, Psalms 37 tells me that the Lord upholds me in his good. He upholds my good. Therefore, when I think on that scripture, the Lord is telling me that, oh my God, my daughter, which I uphold your righteous thoughts. It is good. Your righteous thoughts are upright to me and I'm going to help you uphold those good thoughts in your mind, in your spirit, in your soul, in your business, in your books, in whatever situation, because you are part of the 99. Amen. So God is a mighty God and he will not let the least of us pull any of us away. Amen. So whatever you're going through, I cannot hide that truth from you that God is going to lose you you're coming out of it whatever the situation you're going through that's still hope that you are coming out of it God has his hands on my life not man I don't give my life over to men like that I know I'm covered under the blood of Jesus Christ so God has his hands on his right hand is on my my life I speak with his voice through my mouth I declare his word with my mouth that says yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil Amen. I have the mind of Jesus Christ and the voice of a stranger I will not hear. And when I put on my full armor, I put on my helmet of salvation. Amen. I put on my breastplate of righteousness. I take up my shield of faith. I use my sword of the spirit. I gird my loins with the truth of God. And I shod my feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Therefore, there is no giant that can stand up to the power of God within me. We're not coming as, as, uh, with noise. We're coming with the power of God, which is the gentleness of God, which is the fruit of the spirit, which means means that there is no law that can stand up against the fruit of the spirit because we have forgiveness we have the perfect love we have peace we have gentleness we have meekness we have every single nine spirit the fruit of the spirit in us therefore in me God will do great things and he's gonna make straight every crooked path which he already has made straight those crooked paths for me so those things that I was praying about before I've seen the power of God manifested. And now God is just trying to shift the atmosphere to turn some bad things around for you that where the enemy thought to method you, where the enemy wanted to overthrow you, where the enemy thought you were foolish, you were therefore wiser than them. Amen? So God is calling you to be able to stand in, in, in peace not reproach God wants you to be still and know that he is God because when you have the power of the of God within you his righteousness says that there's nothing that can come upon you because the fire of God is burning around you amen so I just want to encourage you with that word check out my website um, it's a brand new year 2019 we're not there yet but uh, by the blood of Jesus Christ I just want to give God thanks in advance for uh, my business and I definitely want to see some of you follow me or follow me on Instagram because I spend time there to do some work there and uh, go ahead and comment below your prior request and I'm just going to go ahead and pray about them. We do, we do it for God. We do it for God. And we don't want to turn anyone away. Just because someone doesn't appreciate prior. 
because this is really a prior group. <laughs> so if you do, if there's someone who doesn't appreciate prior, there are still people who wants prior. There are people who are going through some things. There are some people who are going through some messed up things in this time. There are people who are going through identity crisis. There are people who are going through a time when they need they need healing and they don't know how. They don't know where to turn to. Amen. So we didn't come to be part of it. We just came to stand in a place and let the light of God shine from us to the world. Because I believe that I'm like a, I'm a city on a hill. I'm a city on, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a city on a hill and my light cannot be hidden. I'm the light of the world. You know, I'm a, I'm a beacon. You know, I'm a beacon of light and therefore I cannot be moved. I cannot be shaken. I cannot be concerned because if I know that God created all things and if I know that he's the one who flung the stars in the skies and he's the one that created me from dust, and if I know that I'm the redeemed of the Lord and I was made to worship him and to praise him, there's nothing or no one that can pull me out of his arms. In fact, you have to go ahead and pray for those people who want to go astray because of the mindset that they have. You have to now pray for them because they too will be humbled by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we just want to ask God that he does not carry out his judgment on them and pray for their, the mercy of God on them because I know who God is. Amen. So thank God for his goodness and just a short prayer that I was taught. Um, I was taught by um, my uh, previous pastor, this Pastor Taylor, this um, prayer. It says, Jesus, son of God, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of God, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Sometimes your prayers don't need to be long. Sometimes your prayer don't need to be, you know, verbose. It just needs simplicity. It needs the expression of your heart. God just wants to know that you adore him and he wants you in a humble place. And when you, when you, when you are in a secret place, you know, he, he covers you and he redeems you, you know, and he, he, he protects you. I know there are some people waiting for to be redeemed right now, but I'm just trying to show that God is the one that does the redemption. Amen. He points you to the cross. He has pointed all of us to the cross. So I want to thank God that he is going to do great and mighty things through faithful women movement, through faithful women movement, Canada through Faithful Women Movement UK and wherever else that he sees his work to be done. So thank God for you. Please go over to Amazon and check out my book, Life Reimagined, a 31 days devotional of declaring, declaring God's promises over your life. Amen. Check that out. Check that out. And thank you for following Burn Out Bad Mind. God bless you and we give God all the praise and thank you for praying for me. I know there are more for us than those who are against us. So thank you. We, 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 we thank God for the prayers of those who have been praying for my husband and I. We, we, we really relish the joy of the Lord and we definitely, I just give God thanks for my husband and I because we're, we are so responsible when it comes to the, the, the name of God and when it comes to walking in holiness. So I just thank God for that, that no matter what's going on in the world, we will not be shaken, honey. Thank God for his goodness. Blessed be the name of God and uh, give God all the glory. See you in the next video.